Did That's you see right. that uh, that judge who I guess uh, I don't know what the story was? He reprimanded the uh, the woke uh, the uh, lawyer for putting said, pronouns in the in the pleading. Yep. He said you're adding extra words for no reason in an attempt to persuade uh, 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 an officer of the court by in, in making political implications. You capitalized the word black but not white. Oh, that was a different one. Yeah, yep. I thought that, no, that was the same one. Same oh one. yeah, yeah. And then the the it was like a, it was a prosecutor or something. He put pronouns in it, and the judge basically said that including your pronouns only attempts to signal to the court that you are of a political persuasion to seek favor. I mean, we have a case in Minnesota, Public Teachers Union in Minneapolis. They put in a contract that, you know, if there's a layoff, you get laid off usually the most recent employee, you know, the most recent hire, first in, first out, right? You don't have the exp- you have to be on the job longer in order to get the benefit of not getting laid off, except if you're black or white. So if you're a black person who otherwise would be fired, they go to the next person who's white and fires them. Yeah. And on the back end, rehiring, it's usually, you know, the most senior person gets it's, hired first unless they're the wrong color. So there's, there's this – it's not, it's, it's not like they in favor of racial discrimination. They embrace it. And, it's, they, it's, and they reject – the constitutional prohibitions on racial discrimination and the civil rights laws of the it's, 60s. They don't believe in them, right. folks. It's been this way since I was a kid. They don't this believe is, in them. This is, Le- how, this is how Chicago has always operated as long as I've been alive. This has been a component that friends of mine and my family have, have dealt with. That if you were white, if you were perceived as white, they would skip you in, in public hiring or public promotions. And that was, that was normal. Well, you know, but that's an internal ethnic issue in Chicago versus a public school union with the endorsement of the city engaging in brazen... No, I'm talking about police and fire department. Right. Outright saying white people need not apply. Oh, right, right, with the with the racial quotas at the time. Right. In California, they had quota requirements for private boards. Yeah. They said you, yeah. you had to have... So if you have a... Just, you know, a quota means that someone gets a job that no one else can apply for because of their race or right. whatever the quota requirement yeah. is. That's, it's that's a huge ra- thing in South Africa as well. It's racial quotas. It's like one of the major things, honestly. But in South Africa, do they have do the quotas apply to white people? Uh, yes, it's like you have to hire. I believe it's like every if you hire one white person, you have to hire three black people, and they could be black people of any every any tribe it doesn't matter. But they have to be three black or colored people in that in that position. So no matter what, even if and the, and if the this, one this is important for people to understand. Colored means something specific in South Africa. Yes, colored is a proper word. Capital C O L O U R E D. Colored. It, ref- it refers to mixed mixed race, right? Yes, correct. Who speak Afrikaans is like their main language. Yeah, that's that's funny because in the United States it's just considered like a slur or an insult. Yeah, right. But yeah. in South Africa, it's like a legal term. It's illegal. It's the the name they use there for themselves. Yeah, it's and it, and it's capitalized. That's why I was talking proper, about yes. the capitalization of race is pernicious. Uh, they, you know, like I keep on saying, they don't believe in any of the kind of, well, what the liberal basis for our country has been for the last 50, 60 years, that we're supposed to be treating people according uh, to something other than their race or, or sex or now, you know, LGBTQT status or whatever. It's you, you get special treatment and others get punished. Uh, it is, it is a, um, you know, how, how is it you run? a civil society on that basis i have no idea south africa tried it didn't work yeah it's uh it's i don't think it's working it's right i working. mean it didn't work under apartheid and it didn't work in the efforts to undo apartheid where they are as race conscious in theory as they were right. during the apartheid era. it's 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 more race conscious than it ever has been i think and uh, it's not helping it's never helped i oh. just i just with, with this dnd thing there's no other way to see it they are white supremacists, and they are projecting to protect themselves. This is what the left does. They create yeah. segregated spaces. There was the famous uh, uh, library, I think it was Seattle, where they had uh, um, POC, non-POC library meetings. Yeah. So it's like, well, if you're white. When I was at... Um, I mean, just to remember, in schools across the country, they engage in segregation. These safe, Whenever you hear affinity space, sub-segregation. That's literal what they mean. It's literal segregation in uh, court in, or, you know, government was, endorsed segregation. There was the That's what's happening in, uh, in this day and age. The parent in Georgia who sued because her child, who was black, was taken out of the mixed classroom and put into an all black class. And she was like, why? And they're like, for his safety. And she's like, what? That's what they're doing. So these people are like, we shouldn't allow anyone 
to play a character who's actually mixed race because race mixing is racist, they say. 